Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. In this video, we're going to connect to Google Drive, so you can work with your files in the cloud, just like they would reside on your local file system. I will demonstrate this on Ubuntu, and then I will show it for Linux Mint, where it works exactly the same, with both of them being of course Debian slash Ubuntu based distributions. Most likely, you will have noticed that Google Drive for desktop is only available for Windows and Mac OS, and that there is no official version for Linux. This doesn't have to be an issue, because things have come a long way over the years for Linux, and access to online services like Google Drive are more and more available out of the box after you have installed the operating system. Before you start, it is always a good idea to go into the Software Manager or Software Center and update your system. I'm showing this on Ubuntu 24.04.01 LTS long-term support with the GNOME 46 as its desktop environment. This should already include the required packages by default, so you can skip this if you want, but let's double check this by just installing the packages. Start by installing the GNOME control center, sudo apt install gnome-control-center. And indeed, this is already available and it is already on the newest version. The second package is gnome-online-accounts. This one is also already there as expected. This step was just to double check because in modern versions this functionality will already be available. Simply open the settings. and then find online accounts on the left hand side and click it. And there it is. Allow apps to access online services by connecting to your cloud accounts. And then a list of the possible cloud providers, including Microsoft. Today, we will only need Google, so let's click it. And then log in to your Google account by clicking the sign in button. Proceed to enter your account details and grant the required authorization to GNOME. You can be specific here, but initially I will just go for select all. For Google Drive, we don't need mail, calendar or contacts, but make sure that files is enabled. Now close this dialog and open the Nautilus file manager. And at this point, the magic should have already happened. There is now a mapped network drive to your Google Drive, just like you would interact with a network share, external hard disk, or a USB drive. There is a My Drive and Shared With Me section, and I've left the default How to Get Started with Drive that Google leaves there as standard. Now let's see if we can access and open a remote file. And we can. Also, when we create a new text document, it can now be stored directly to the cloud on Google Drive. You can drag and drop files from Google Drive to local, for example, the desktop. Let's duplicate the text file. And then copy paste our way back from the desktop to Google Drive. When checking Google Drive via the web browser on drive.google.com, the files are visible there too, of course, because we are directly working in the cloud. You can disconnect the network drive just like any other drive and reconnect when needed. And that's pretty much it. And this could be perfectly well all that you need. But it is important to realize that this method doesn't keep your files in sync like it can do with Google Drive for desktop utility for Windows and Mac OS. And because you are accessing and editing the online files directly, it will only work with an active internet connection. So think about it like a streaming service. But you can access your online files directly from any application and work with them just like they are local files. However, if you are looking to interact through the command line with your Google Drive, 
or want to keep local files in sync with files on the online Google Drive, have a look at the Google Drive OC AML Viewers Utility. For this, you would need to add a personal package archive as displayed on the screen now. But before we do that, let's check its website. The package is fairly well maintained, quite recent, and there are many articles about it on the internet. So let's add the PPA. Let's update the system so it picks up the changes and ignore any messages on the screen. I've been playing around with a lot of packages recently. Then install it with the command sudo apt install google-drive-oc-aml viewers. The package name is also the name of the application and the command to start it. Google Test Drive OCAML Views. You can see that it doesn't start straight away because it requires a client ID and a client secret or password. I will leave this as an exercise to the viewer because this is just a bit more involved. You will need to activate and set up the Google Drive API. And links are in the description of this video for your convenience. Because I think most viewers are happy with the native functionality in the file explorer, I will leave it like this. Our last comment around this is that by default, OC AML views will mount the Google Drive as read-only for security, and you would have to adjust this before syncing. But with this tool, you can mount your Google Drive in a local directory as a mount point, and then start a near real-time synchronization between your local and remote files via the use of a utility like, for example, rsync. If you want to remove Google Drive from your system and disable what we have done so far, go back into the settings, online accounts, click Google, and then simply hit the remove button and confirm. And to completely tidy up, you will want to remove the GNOME access that was granted earlier. Go to myaccount.google.com and then click data and privacy on the left hand side. Then find data from apps and services you use and open the third party apps and services section. It never hurts to go over this list every once in a while anyway. Maybe you will find more that you want to clean up. Click GNOME. Scroll down and click delete all connections you have with GNOME. And then confirm. You are no longer connected to GNOME. Job done. For Linux Mint, here demonstrated on Linux Mint 22. Open the menu and then click Preferences and Online Accounts. You will recognize this by now because it looks almost the same. Just follow the same steps as for Ubuntu and your Google Drive will very soon appear in the Nemo File Manager. That's it. Hope it helped, and if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time, bye!